Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gear 360 Plays Mario Golf. When last I saw you here, we were on hole 10 of the Get Character Match against Luigi. I was one hole up and he was closing the gap, which is not good. So today, we're going to see if we can't fix that. He won the last hole. It's funny, I started off uh, this this uh, set with him by saying that the AI characters cheated. Uh, well, they don't cheat. I'm just really bad. That's better. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good lie. It's, uh, it's kind of funny. I remember playing this on the N64, uh, and as, as I said, this is an emulator, um, so I'm playing it on my computer. And I remember every now and again, the computer would have no idea what it really wanted to do, so it would sit there, and you could, you could watch it think. Everything would lag. The flag would stop waving, and the little runny lines would be a mess, and... Don't you dare. You sorry. What a good line. I like that. Anyway. Um, you could actually sit and watch it bog down while it thought kind of funny. Well, I'm on the green. I'm going to lose this hole. Ah. Oh, that makes me mad. Nice car. Mm. Mm, that's not good. But since it's on the computer and not on the <laughs> N64, man, they don't take any time to make up their mind. There we go. That's a lot better. Alright, maybe I've got a chance nice on this one. Depends on how he plays this second shot. Nice shot. Shot. What are you doing? Oh, too bad. I really, really hope the game's not decided to take it easy on me. Nice approach. That would make me feel really bad. Nice there we go. The Alright, back to one up. Let's see if I can't get through this blasted thing without any more disasters. So I'll be interested to see how these videos do. Uh, as of this recording, uh, well, to start off with, I record everything in batches, right? So I'll play like four or five episodes of um, Half-Life, and then, you know, a couple of episodes of Minecraft or something, and then, you know, a couple of episodes of this or that or whatever. Uh, as of this recording, This is the second recording uh, session that I've done of Mario Golf, so I've not uploaded uh, the first two. I'll be very interested to see how exactly they do. Uh, I've certainly 
not seen or heard anything like a demand for a Mario Golf Let's Play on YouTube. Oh, you sorry. That is beautiful. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh, I'm so mad. But I'm not in a bad position. Nice on. You sorry. Nice eagle. I'm giving myself a five. Pretty good. You sorry. I take back everything I said about not wanting this game to take it easy on me. I have never in my, now I have played a lot of Mario Golf in my time. I have never never seen that happen. You sorry. Ah. Uh, okay, that makes me uh I'm glad I can record this now because that is not a mm okay. <laughs> And then you pulled... Okay. Alright. Play your little games. Let me see here. So 65. I have yet to figure out exactly how that chipping system works. So help me. Thank you. I'll take that one. After that last one you pulled. Alright, we're back where we were. Thank you. So help me. I I'm I'm it's gonna take me a while to get over that one. Uh, it, it's funny uh, how they play. You know, Luigi's been making these really great shots off of the tee box in the fairway, and then really. What are you doing? Oh, that's alright. And then really kind of messing it up on the on the green. Uh, I mentioned that I've got every version of this game. Uh, I think that's available, and including the uh, DS version. And in the DS version, it's a completely different story. You have you have to you are required to play with uh, an NPC on your team in like doubles matches, and. You never leave her with a fairway shot if you can help it, because she makes the dumbest decisions I have ever seen in any kind of a situation. Just stupid. So let's move over here, and then hit to... That should work. Get up and in. Yeah! Yeah, that's nice. Anyway, she makes horrible decisions off of the, off of the fairway, but she will never miss a putt. It is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. And I guess they just don't want her to be too overpowered so you can, like, play against other NPCs and not... Yeah, whatever. Oh. Alright, sink to win. We'll go over here, and then go to here. And hope to goodness... Yes! Nice part. Whew. All right, I might win this. I was concerned for a bit. There we go. It's interesting, uh, you know, being a relatively new guy to videos on YouTube. 
I wonder how long it takes for the average person to grow a community. Because I'd like a lot of people to watch my videos. It, it doesn't happen, you know, and I don't expect it to. These are mostly for me and my friends to enjoy, and I can show them how horrible I am at this stuff. And they can laugh at me, and then I can call them names, and we can have a jolly good time. But I wonder how long it took Seth Bling to reach as many subscribers as he's got, or, or an Etho, or a, probably more accurately a, a good Boulder Fist, or someone of that nature. Because most of my views I've been getting by doing things that I think Reddit would enjoy and then posting my videos to Reddit, which is probably what I'm going to do with these, is find a Mario Golf thread and put them in there so people nice can approach. know that they exist. Get in. Oh, blast it. It looked straight. Nice par. Yeah. <laughs> nice par. You sorry. What gets me every time is they like to do that. These uh, these characters is they'll find some stupid way to give themselves just a little bit of an advantage. Okay, let me get out of this view. And lift up on you just a little bit. There we go. I think I finally figured this hole out. It gave me fits. I think you guys were... Yeah, you guys saw it last time. But uh, I played it a couple of times off screen, and it just... I'd always get stuck in this rough that he's about to land in. Yeah, right there. And I, I just never could get out, because I'd wind up down in that valley. This was a really strange version of Mario Golf 2. It had a bunch of characters that nobody knows who they are. I mean, who on earth is Plum? I mean, she's obviously just a version of not Peach, you know, that you can play from the beginning, but, you know, there's Plum, and where on earth did Charlie come from? Uh, who else is there? There's another guy that you get later, whose name I completely forget. Nice job. Nice on. <laughs> that should do it. Does that put me? Oh, very nice. Sorry, bragging on myself, but that was actually pretty good. Nice on. Okay, now let's take a minute. Right, right. A little uh. Get in, you sorry. Ah, Ugh. nice car. Ugh. Mm. Well, at least I can't. Nice you can't car. miss from that close. Yeah. All right, so this is it. If I can at least draw with him, I win. And that is probably not the way to do it. No, 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 not bad, not bad. I can birdie from here. Nice on. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe.
Oh man, this is gonna be a draw, I can already tell. I don't I don't know if I can read that that slope on that green. He's further out though. Alright, here it goes. Let's get out here and take a look at this. It's obviously got a down a little bit of a downhill. Let's try that. Ah, it could have used just a I mean if it had just a bit more. So help me. Yep, I'm gonna win it. Boy, you like to lip out, don't you? There we go. Nice part. Sweet. Yes. All right, 24 points. Very nice. I get to play as Luigi now. Sweet. Now, you can tell why I wanted him, I hope. This is... Charlie, and he's got a little bit of a fade there. Uh, 210 yard drive. Luigi, on the other hand, has a 220 yard drive and a little bit more of a fade, which means I can kind of get around trees and obstacles a little bit better. But yeah, I got Luigi! Woo! So next time, I'll go ahead and I think I'll play as Luigi uh, in another tournament. And I think next time we'll play the Koopa Cup and see how far we can get in that. And until that next time, I have been Gear360. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, keep your head down and follow through.